The estate, owned since 1818 by Noel Mathurin Brassard, a lawyer and then judge, passed to Louis Brassard, born in 1819 and who died in 1907, who used his wife's dowry to transform it over more than 30 years, from 1870 to around 1905. Living in Paris, Brassard only came to the chateau four months a year, from the beginning of September to the end of December. Each year, he arrived with the hope of finishing the repairs, but he never succeeded because, with each stay, he had new ideas for improvements or construction, and had to undertake essential repairs. Louis Brassard built in the 1870s an entrance pavilion on two levels, topped with a square dome and closed by a carriage door from a mansion on the road to Paris. He also acquired a large part of the furniture and reused a number of architectural elements in the buildings. Around 1882, he had the outbuildings raised and undertook to fit out on the floor of the northern body, from 1885 to 1893, a theatre, served by a staircase reminiscent of that of the Paris Opera. In the central body, a stable, equipped with marble mangers, and in the south body, a giant tower called the dungeon with a shed in upholstery on the ground floor, a village hall and smoking room on the first floor, and bedrooms on the second floor. He also built a chapel, from 1899 to 1901, and, in the northeast corner of the property, in 1904, the new castle, made up of three adjoining buildings preceded by a French garden. The first body consists of a bakery, the only remaining element of a farm burned down in 1887 and attested on the cadastral plan of 1826, with a floor housing a bedroom, ornate windows, and decorative battlements. The second is dedicated to a bath apartment, and the third, the new castle itself, is used as a warehouse and attic. In 1904, he bought the Chateau de Palo, in a neighboring village, whose gate and pillars he transferred to serve as a monumental entrance, and then he sold the chateau. Towards the end of the same year, he acquired a farm located on the other side of the road that fell into ruin which he raised and replaced by a new one equipped with a large hayloft, five towers, and crenellated terraces. From 1880, he also developed the park of the Chateau. He transformed the road that passed by the buildings into a lake, if one can call it that, a kind of small, very thin extent of water, with an island adorned with rocks implemented by a rocker from Cruz, two bridges, and a small water tower. He dug a second body of water, also endowed with an island, and built, in 1892, by specialists from Paris, a rock grotto.
Sold by the descendants of Louis Brassard, around 1910 the estate passed into the hands of an architect, three years later to the widow, subsequently to a lawyer from Lyons, then in the late 1960s or early 1970s to a Swede, Mr. Jordanson. The buildings were then in poor condition. Mr. Jordanson had them repaired from 1976, in particular the roof of the central part of the outbuildings. The property was put up for sale in 2017 and acquired on October 8, 2020, by Stéphane Seize, who undertook to restore the site to its former splendor. A local news source on May 16, 2023, writes, The castle should soon open to the public. We owe this good news to an entrepreneur, Stéphane Seize, who bought it two years ago and launched its renovation. Because the building conceals some remarkable treasures such as a theater and a double helix staircase, but also a beautiful story linked to its designer, Louis Brassard. It's definitely on my to visit list.